at E3, we wanted to present a Ninja Gaiden that fans know and love. You see it, you're like, that's Ninja Gaiden. We focused on the action, focused on the sword play, and we wanted to nail that so that people know it's back. For TGS, we will now want to shift the focus to what Ninja Gaiden 3 is really about and what makes Ninja Gaiden 3 special. And we hope that through the event at TGS uh, and through the demo that you see and through uh, the coming months, we'll be able to show you really the heart of Ninja Gaiden 3 and what we're trying to do with both Ninja Gaidens and with action games and show you the future of where we think action games are going. So as we said in the presentation, we're trying to focus on cutting someone down, cutting another person down. And if you're going to kill someone like that, there are consequences to those actions. And Ninja Gaiden 3 will deal with the consequences to Ryu Hayabusa having killed people and as many people as he has killed in the past games as well. The concept behind Ninja Gaiden 3 is to portray Ryu Hayabusa as the Japanese dark hero. Having a dark hero obviously means he's going to be doing some bad things. And we want players to experience the suffering that he goes through as he cuts people down and make them feel like they're getting their own hands bloody by his actions. So that's the core concept for Ninja Gaiden 3, and we can't to get away from that. Ninja Gaiden has obviously earned a reputation for being a challenging title, and it's done that through its whole history. Um, and we definitely want to offer that challenge that people know and love and respect the game for. Uh, but we also know that there are a lot of people out there who haven't been able to clear a game or haven't, you know, who leave the game because it's too, too hard or they haven't played other action games or they haven't played a Ninja Gaiden game before. And for those people who are new to the series or who are coming back, for those people we want to offer sort of a different entrance into the same experience. But Ryu Hayabusa is the top ninja out there. And for online, we want people to come in as a low ninja, you know, a rookie ninja that is going for that level of ninjahood. And through the online modes, as they're killing other players online and cutting other people down, they will slowly grow into being the top ninja in the world. Team Ninja is a, is a team that has made very well-received, very well-respected games for years. And really with great pride that we are here making new Ninja Gaiden, new Dead or Alive, and that we can offer these games that only we can make, that only Team Ninja can make. Uh, we're very excited to have these titles coming out, and we're very proud of the work that we're doing. Uh, and we're sure that all the users out there will feel that this is Team Ninja work. So we're happy to be here at TGS and happy to be able to show everyone in the world the games that we're working on uh, straight from where we were making them. Team Ninja is now big enough to have multiple projects going on at the same time. We're always going to be thinking of new games, new gameplay, and, and trying to find new kinds of entertainment for all of the people out there. We will definitely be in the news and keep giving uh, you more information, so please, you know, stay tuned.